we're going to do the wall. That's what we should do. Should we tell them the story, Mike? Sure. Look at how empty. Why don't you tell me something and I'll guess what you're saying. I want to go hmm sunshine you want to go to the sunshine the beach only there's some place sunny you do yeah it's sunny though today we've had we are lucky we've had a string of fantastic weather we have. It rained last night. Yes, that was last night, Joe. It's all good. All right, so this is what we're gonna do today. We got a lot of things going on today. We're going to do the wall. You ready for that? The wall. The wall. Ooh, the wall. So I'm going to finally take all of these down. Mike, where are we gonna put those wine bottles? I don't know what we're gonna do. Huh. Should I get like a bin? Should we open them up and pour them out? Like, I don't know what to do with those. No, I feel like they could be used as a craft. You know what, potentially, I wonder if we could I sell them. Yeah. If you have like, yeah, people would definitely like collect them, right? I think, so. I think wine bottles, because they would use them for like, to make lamp, like they make no, chandeliers and stuff. We actually, Michael, that's what we should do. Let's save the bottles and send them to an artisan who can make us a really cool chandelier out of it. I can make you a really cool <sighs> Really? But like, that, they mean a lot to us and they've been on there. I just got that at Big Sky, that's a good idea. No. Or, oh a wine bottle chandelier? They make those, or something. I, this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna Google what you can do with wine bottles, like, because they could make- That's kind of 1970, circa 1976 <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but it means something to us. What if we make what if we make like a, a cool serving dish with like they cut off the bottoms or something? Comment below <laughs> what we should do with this vinegar that's on the wall. <laughs> no. I'm too especially talking about the bottles. No. What? What? Sell the bottles to someone who like values all the wine. Hmm. But there's just the wine and it's not good. That's though. what I'm oh, saying. Okay. okay. Aren't there like the wine bottles? We do have one that's signed by Francis. Oh, uh, yes. This is our pride and joy. <laughs> so this is our story. So, okay, okay. Let's talk about the wine wall and actually how it came to fruition. You ready? Should we tell them the story, Mike? Sure. Okay. So when Mike and I first got married, we went on our, our well, we went on our honeymoon. We went on a cruise. Surprise, surprise. But actually, and on that cruise, we bought a wine bottle. There it is. Right there, right there. Right there. You see, it says Carnival. We were on the Carnival Cruise Line for our um, honeymoon mm -hmm. when we were married. So the deal is, was it, does it say it on there? Yeah, it's mostly the date on the, back, on the bottom. We yeah. usually write the date on the bottom of the wine yeah, bottle. 97. And where we got? 1997. So, okay, so we went on a cruise and we bought the wine. And we decided from every vacation from there on, or really every anniversary from there on, that we would always buy wine from where we were instead of like buying a t-shirt or chops peas or whatever. And we've since added to that. Now we do a Christmas ornament as well. But anyway, so we would buy wine wherever we went. Now, believe me, these aren't all from vacations or anniversaries. We haven't been married that long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but people would bring us wine or if we went somewhere special, we would get wine. So that's like Napa, 621, 98, yeah. So anyway, so that's how it started. So when we lived in Louisville, Kentucky, we had a collection of maybe, I don't know, Five 20 six, bottles, maybe. five or six. I think we had a little more than that. So we started buying these holders and we had a wine wall in our little teeny tiny apartment. We had a one bedroom apartment when we lived in Louisville, Kentucky. We had a one bedroom apartment. We had a one bedroom apartment, Katie. It was how many square feet, Mike? 800. 800 square feet, which is like smaller than this area. It was one bedroom, about this one, size. one bath, a kitchen, <laughs> like a little kitchen, a little living room, and a deck. Isn't that sweet? It was, it was a nice apartment, right Mike? We it loved was, it. yes. So anyway, so that's the deal. So now, um, so we had a wine wall in Louisville, and then when we moved here, we brought the wine wall with us. But now it's time to go. A lot of people are saying, don't, don't. don't I agree, do I agree. Wall. I don't want to let it go. <laughs> Mike doesn't want to, you want to move it downstairs? We don't no. have to let it go. We no. can just put it somewhere else. Not smart. Not downstairs? You know the stuff that happens downstairs? Plus they're tripping. Yeah, they are. Oh, 
break it? Throw balls at it and stuff like that. What do you think we should do with the wine wall, Brandon? Should we keep it and just move it somewhere else? No. Oh. Is it time to go? Yes. We're getting rid of the wine wall today. However, yeah. when, whenever people come over to our that. house, the first compliment we get is about the wine wall. That's right. Oh, I love the wine. Uh, now it's gonna be gone. You know, like, our parents are alcoholics. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, but this is the thing. We have no place to put our food. Hmm. We have plenty of places. Mm. <laughs> I think, Michael, you will agree with this. Getting rid of this and changing this all out and making it match the cabinets will make it much cleaner and much less cluttered looking. Don't you think? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You agree? Yeah. All right. Oh. All right. All in favor of removing the wine wall and making it built in, raise your hand. All in favor of keeping the wine wall, raise your hand. Yay! Woo! Uh, I think we lost. I think we just lost. <laughs> you might have just lost. But we're not going to get rid of the wine altogether. We'll keep the wine until we decide what to do with it and the racks. Is that good? Yes. All right. Here we go. Who wants to help me take these out? We could just. I could just sell the wine wall. There's some good wine in there also, mixed in, like everyday wine. There is, yes. The, this rack over here is good mm -hmm. wine, it's like drinkable wine yeah. and Irish cream. This is good, this is good, and then not good, good, not good. Right. So, all right, I'm going to go out of the shed. I'm going to get a, uh, like we have a, like a container, like a right. bin? bin, yes, to start to put them in. And then, Ryan, we got to clean this up so we can move this over there, right? <laughs> And then we'll just start to, we'll get the drill and start to take it down. Ready? Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> look at how empty. It actually looks bigger. Look how much bigger that space looks. That is awesome. Katie, look at this. Oh, Ryan, come here. Look how much bigger that wall looks. Is that crazy? Number one. Mike, look how much bigger that wall looks. Holy oh, smokes. Does it look humongous? Oh, I miss it already, though. You do? It's like no decorations. Yeah, you think? Maybe we could string lights in there. All right, you guys, there's all the wine. Next, removal of the wine racks. The end of a wine era. That's been a long, like I say, a long time. So we've been married, 97. So what does that make it, 20? What are we in now? We're in 2000, oh, so 23 years. We've had the wine for 23 years, Ryan. 23? Yes, you look at that. Longer than you've had this house. I know, well, yeah, because we started in Louisville. You missed the story. What? You I missed know, the story. I, I you know, know the story. I know it's in Louisville. Yeah. But we shared, we shared the story about how we collected all the wine. Change is good. Change is good, Mike. Change is good. There's opportunity. That's right. That's right. Painful though. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's all good. If you have a good attitude, moving forward, sure. being optimistic, yeah. open-minded, it's yeah. all good. All right, so that is enough work for today. We're going to go grab the paint. This is for scale. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. For skin. That's good, uh, Brian. Look at yeah. you. And then again, my wingspan isn't that long, but still. That's, that's a good thumbnail. Thing. It's a big wall. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be the blankest thumbnail ever. It's just, right. it's just, just a wall. wall. Actually, you, you know what we should do instead of building buildings here? We should just turn this into our filming wall and just film right here. So, what is up, guys? We're back with another uh, sick video. Keep watching, subscribe, like. What's up? What's the sick video gonna be about? Uh, it's gonna be about how awesome I am. Um, how you lost to, uh, to Brendan downstairs in Madden? Well, no. I, oh. I beat Brendan downstairs. Oh, you did? Nice. I, well, I got uh, 21 1 in the first quarter, and then he, he did come back on me. <laughs> and then uh, we both scored, we made it 28 28, and then he made it 35, whatever. And then I made 34, or, and then, anyway, okay. I, he was going to win, I stopped him, uh, he went for on fourth down, I got it, he went, he went man coverage on Cam Chancellor, what oh. are you doing? Who does I, that? I, I know! <laughs>
Who goes down the I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, flow to the end zone. Bam. He's got it. Game, set, match. Done. Done. Okay, well there you have it. That's what happened today downstairs in uh, in the Donnelly Stadium. Um, how long is it gonna be? Hey, nice. No, I like that. That's awesome. All right, you guys. So we'll come back to stay tuned to see um, how we then paint and transform this wall. It's going to be a project. It's going to take a few days, weeks, maybe. Oh, thank you, Ryan. Thanks for the the. Okay. I want to show you a picture of what we're going to turn it into, but I think I'm going to wait. I found a picture on Pinterest and I've been salivating over it because it's so beautiful. So I will show that to you as we continue. Probably when I start constructing the built-ins and the cabinets, got barn doors and everything, it's going to be beautiful. But um, the first step or the next step is to take all these little dudes out, patch, spackle, and then paint. And we're also waiting on this piece right here to come in. My brother-in-law is making it. And it's here, so you can see our kitchen cabinets. This piece right here is going to be a wine rack. So we're gonna turn from the wine wall that held 100 and, I don't know, what was it, 11 times six, 66 bottles of wine mm -hmm. to one that's gonna hold probably about eight bottles of wine, but that's okay, that, that's our working wine, the wine that we're actually using, these guys over here. So anyway, that's that. I think, you know, do you know what I think you get when I start there? So I, that made me happy there. It did? Yes. Thank you. We'll just cut there short. What made you happy today, Brennan? We'll finish our video now. Today was a big day. I'm pretty tired. Um, what made me happy today was... That table was cool. Definitely. Being able to stay and pay my table. Fantastic. What made you happy I, today, Katie Kate? Um, I, uh... That awesome shirt and outfit. My outfit. Kidding, I don't know. My wall. Your wall. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. What made me happy today was definitely making progress on my wall. Sharing our wall, wine wall story with you was also very fun. I enjoyed that. All right, you guys, so thanks so much for watching. We hope you're hanging in there and finding lots of things to do while you are um, at home. We're doing our home projects and I don't even know what's next. Closet. You know what? Closet. Dye you know what table. I think is next? Huh? Dye, Dye table. table. We're gonna make, I think we're gonna cook. Katie, I think we're having. <laughs> you know, my bad. Yeah. I brushed my teeth and then I ate strawberries. Yeah, I want to cook. Uh, I want to make Grandma Donnelly's banana bread. Katie, that is so funny because look at I did that with Ryan. Did you actually? Well, Ryan did it. He goes just for some perspective, and he stood like that. Yeah, I kind of want like. I know it's a great wall, isn't it? Good one to hug, you know. I cannot wait. It's gonna be great to move forward. Alright, you guys, thanks again for watching. Comment below. Made you guys happy today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.